this is Chris Clark from Clark Pads. Thank you for watching. And I have here the Bagode Master V4. And uh, this is compliments of John Fernandez, which has loan, who has loaned me this for a couple weeks now. Thank you, John. And uh, the purpose of this video is to show you the new, or show you the installation of the new uh, Clark Pads race system. And so um, I also wanted to introduce my wife, Christina. And here she is. Hey. She's doing the filming. <laughs> and she rides and races with us as well. Um, so basically, uh, the system is designed for racing. Um, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit sleeker. Um, I do believe it'll have absolutely adequate protection. Um, and uh, we've made some improvements. We've kind of come a long way since we have first uh, designed um, actually our v1 master system was the first fairing uh, ever 3d printed designed for an euc and it's been a while so we've made some improvements anyway um, let's get into um, what you get in the package come on in and so you're going to get the main fairing and if you're in the u.s because uh, we don't mind shipping a larger box you'll have it pre-assembled just like that and then you get the rear handle as well and then you will have uh, eight five millimeter, five millimeter long screws, and those will be used um, as a replacement. If you look here, I've already removed the inner battery mounting screws, both top and bottom on both sides. And these are the holes that made up with them, and these are the screws that go through. And um, so you'll have four on each side there. And these bushings, you'll have four of them, and those are to take up the space between uh, the, the open space between the wheel and the plate so you can uh, crank the lowers down very well and that's just on the bottom. There will also be pre-installed bushings on the top um, that will just be inside uh, the fairing itself. Um, what else? Let's see, you'll have the four lowers and they will be pre-installed with Velcro on this corner for easy installation. And then you will also receive, oh, also in addition to the Velcro, if optional, we will provide the 3M mounting tape that you can put on the outside here if you want a super good grip on the bottoms. Um, so I recommend, um, we will be providing the E6000, I recommend putting a glob, a good size glob right in the middle on both sides prior to the installation. We won't be doing it in the video. Um, but what that does is because you have a long stretch with the plate, um, although it, we are offsetting the holes so it's a little tighter, um, it would be good to have a good bond there. I found that it's fairly tight, but those who are really pushing the envelope on performance and whatnot and want that extra little bond right there, um, it'll hold it very, very tight without a problem. And then you will also have an optional Loctite. Um, I always, whenever you have a plastic bushing underneath, you don't want to crank it. The screws can really put a lot of pressure. So you get it nice and snug and a dab of the, so the blue Loctite, which is softer, um, will just keep it from coming out. Um, and I think that covers all of it. So we can go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we put on is the rear handle because the outside does overlap and the holes should match up pretty good and oh and i'm using a three and a four millimeter wrench i believe that's a four it might be a five i can't actually this particular one's rusted out so i can't see it but whatever whatever you know you want a full set whatever ones work with the screws and let me see here we've got four of these these guys will come through the top you can also use Loctite on these screws as well, and I don't recommend cranking them too tight. It is a plastic bushing in there, and you can potentially do damage. And then the bottom one, let's see here. Actually, I'm going to turn around and do those screws on the other side first. And then you always want to take your hand, hand wrench okay, and do the final crank so you have a better feel for it. And then I'll switch wrenches. Come in with this one here. Okay, looking good. Let's try. 
And this three on each side gives you an extremely good bite. So your handle strength and protective strength on the back is excellent. Okay. And then I'm going to change wrenches back to the three millimeter. And so you want to pull your pedals out slightly, and I'll see if I can do this from way over here. Basically, you come in from the front, you fork it over the hanger. Okay, and then once it snaps in on the back, you know it's wrapped around the battery and you're in the good spot. So I'm going to come in on the top. I'm going to put the four screws. Turn this around. And then this is another screw that you could potentially use Loctite. It would be a personal preference. I generally don't have problems with the screws coming loose at all, and I, but I give a good snug crank on them. Okay, usually I'll get both of these started. I also find with these wheels that sometimes they use very soft metal, and sometimes you get instances of cross-threading, so I'm always trying to Make sure the screw is straight as possible. Leave both of them loose until you're done. And come around to the other side. Get it started. And come over to the next one. Okay, we are good to go there, okay, and then get your lowers out, and then the, the production model is actually going to have this material on the plate, so you have even more Velcro that's going to bond this all together, but again, you can always use the 3M mounting tape on the sides. This is a very basic, lightweight, highly functional um, battery lower cover, so... We've minimized on this system as much as possible. That's been the biggest request is to have as streamlined and minimal and light as possible, yet still protective. So, everything organized here. Put this up and then you obviously is ready to go to install your pads and that's pretty much it. Um, if, if you wanna go ahead and put the camera high, I'll do a spin. You guys can have a good look at the fit. It is very clean, very tight, and very light. All right, thank you for watching.